Okay, later, when this is over and everything is settled, we are gonna talk about this bait thing. The Normandy's nice, but for unwinding after a mission, you can't get better than this. Observation Lounge needs a hot tub. Back during my pilgrimage, I used to walk around near that sushi place and watch the fish through the window. I knew they'd never let me inside, but I think to myself, someday, when I've proven my worth to the galaxy, I'll go there for dinner, and then you broke their floor. Do they even have food you can eat there? Not the point, Shepard. What's up, Commander? Hey, Shepard. Hey, so how about that part where I rescued you from certain death, huh? Maybe a surveillance camera caught it. Anyway. Brooks is kind of cute. Wonder if she's on the market. A few months ago, I had a chance to sit down with one of Earth's most decorated soldiers, Admiral David Anderson. He was kind enough to answer my questions and talk about his career. Today, the Admiral is on Earth, leading the defense of our home against the Reapers. We have no communication with him or any soldiers on Earth, but we can't forget what they're doing for us. Tonight's show is dedicated to all of the soldiers out there, fighting and dying to keep us safe. Admiral Anderson, Today marks the 30th anniversary of the N7 program. Can you describe your first day of training in this now famous program? The Interplanetary Combatives Training Program is all business from day one. How so? We're given basic gear, then separated and stranded on an asteroid with no nav data. The test ends when the last person runs out of oxygen. Sounds daunting. What happens to the ones who run out of air first? out of the program. The best N7s can survive alone, but work together to survive even longer. Uh, that's very impressive, Admiral. Deep space survival training. Oh, that has to be uh, so difficult. All of it would take such strength of character. Well, just plain strength. But then you seem like a strong person. I'm sorry, is there a question in there? Uh, well, does the program make the man or do you think you were born for this? It's a bit of both, I suppose. Every soldier reaches a point in their career, sometimes more than once, when they are asked to give more than they ever thought they could. That moment is the test. I've seen men and women, almost sure to fail, persevere long past the point of breaking. That experience changes them. Others, with all the gifts and abilities, fail in that moment. Sometimes they pick themselves up and carry on. Sometimes they're just done. What about you? What was your moment? I've had a few. None of which I'd like to share. But, uh, I think the toughest tests are still ahead of me. What makes you say that? Call it a hunch. Soldier's intuition? Something like that. Do you trust your intuition? I mean... Do you follow your heart over your mind? <laughs> well, <laughs> it depends on the day. No, I... I suppose if I were to be honest, I do trust my instincts. The problem is... War isn't orderly. And the enemy is never predictable. Even the most experienced veteran... is going to find themselves in situations they haven't trained for. In those instances... And there's more than I'd like to admit. Your instincts are the only thing keeping you alive. That, and the men and women you're fighting beside. But soldiers are only as good as their leader, isn't that true? Yeah. A good leader can make an okay squad great. A bad leader, well, war tends to make examples of them. 
what makes a good leader then? Mm -hmm. A good leader is someone who values the life of his men over the success of the mission, but understands that sometimes the cost of failing a mission is higher than the cost of losing those men. That's a terrible line to have to walk. Yes, it is. But war is a terrible thing. Thank you for your time, Admiral. Thank you. The remainder of this interview was to take a more personal look at Admiral Anderson's life. It wasn't finished when the Reapers invaded. We can only hope that the Admiral and the soldiers under his command survive to tell us the rest of their stories. I'm Kalisa Algelani. Thank you for watching. I'm glad you made it out of that ambush, okay? None of us saw that coming. But lesson learned. Never have dinner with Joker. It won't end well. What was... <clears throat> what was I talking about? Early days, right? People ask why I joined the military. Everyone talks about honor, duty, sure. But that's... never the whole truth. It's a hundred little things that add up to commitment. I joined because of a dog. Yeah. A dog. This patchy, mean son of a bitch that used to bark at me every day on my way to school. He'd snarl and I'd start running. Get the hell out of me. I was just a kid. I remember being in a bad mood one morning. Angry, I can't recall why. When that dog started in on me, I snapped. Started barking right back. We both kept at it until we had nothing left. Dog never bothered me again. Why did I join the military? Hmm. Sometimes you just gotta howl to make things right. Shepard, I've found something. We can gather the team whenever you're ready. Commander, in my cycle, when we fled combat by falling through tanks containing aquatic animals, we usually... Oh, right. We never did. <laughs> you are a trailblazer. So, what was it, Shepard? Five minutes before someone started shooting at you? On the other hand, we get this cool secret hideout to hang out in. Unless the bad guys look in the window. The restaurant attack has made the news. Civilian casualties seem to have been restricted to... fish. I'm gonna have to write a report about getting shot. I hear those are really complicated. It's faster if you make a template. I think maybe you get shot too much. I am compiling data on the gun for Dr. Tassoni. She should have the results momentarily. I've made some progress. Would you like me to call the meeting? Do it. We have a lead. I called in some favors to run a trace on the gun. It led me to a casino owner named Elijah Khan. He's been suspected of using his profits to smuggle weapons onto the Citadel. Immediately after the attempt on Shepard's life, Khan made an interesting call. I'm cutting you off. I'm returning your down payment now. What's the problem? 
Turn on a vid screen. When I sell a gun, I don't want it showing up on the nightly news. You won't be linked to me. Save it. Our association is terminated. And if you even think of coming after me, I've got info on you ready for prime time. So you ponder that. Con out. So that's our identity thief. Looks like he's got an ID disguise, sir. Those things are a pain in the ass to get around. Did you get anything on the mercenaries who attacked us? They're a private military corporation called Cat-6. As most of you know, Cat-6 is an Alliance nickname for dishonorable discharges. Many have criminal records, histories of steroid abuse, and other charming features. No doubt hired by the thief, not by Khan. That phone call was pretty damning stuff. How'd you get it? It involved the weapons biometric data, Solarian intelligence, and a Hanar prostitute with camera implants. Seriously? No. But the truth is boring. Khan didn't sound friendly to whoever that voice was. Maybe he'd pass on that info to us. That would take some extremely smooth talking. If he sees you, he'll probably assume you're looking for revenge. The casino has a panic room. Chances are he'll have gone to ground there. Edie can give us programs to hack the door, but the cameras and guards complicate things. Yeah. Khan could disappear, or worse. If his guards ever opened fire, normal people could get hit. Like I did. She's right. We can't risk spooking him. We go in quiet. Small team. No gunplay. Dr. Tassoni, this evening the casino will be hosting a charity event to assist war refugees. Purchase some tickets, Glyph. Then call up a layout of the building. Score! So, how close can you get? You don't usually put a back door in a panic room. This air shaft bypasses the security gate and ends up in storage. From there, the panic room's door camera can be disabled. Still, we're talking about a casino. There's gotta be alarms in that shaft. I believe I have some countermeasures that may help. I'll know more once we're inside. Who will go in this shaft? They need to be small in size. I suspect my suit's built-in tech would be picked up by security sensors. My presence in the casino would arouse suspicion. Mechs are not allowed, since they can have cheating software. What you need is somebody trained in zero emissions tech. No electronics, no metal, just undetectable polymers. We had a course back at Op Int, disabling a bomb with these little tweezers. See, the bomb was filled with shaving cream. All right, you're in. What? No! What? You said it yourself. We've all got too much tech. But... <laughs> I managed to get shot just coming to talk to you. Now I'm supposed to hack my way into a safe room? We'll be backing you up. The second you hit something you can't handle, we'll cover you. If that's settled, it looks like there's one last hurdle to get us inside. Which is? Black tie required. Commander, keep dressing like that and you'll have to catch me when I swoon. I might do more than catch you. How are you so calm? Well, you did run under a reaper while it fought a Thresha Maw, so this is no big deal for you. Relax, Brooks. Right. Okay. On it. I'll get to the ventilation shaft. Wish me luck. We are. You have any input? Khan has a lot of surveillance set up. I'd mingle with the guests if you want to look normal. Okay, Liar. Time to meet the Riff Raff.
No, seriously. Have you ever tried to chase an ambulance? In a sky car, it's about the most dangerous thing you can do. by the grate leading to the shaft, but there's a problem. Can you meet me? I'll call you back. Potential client here. Enjoying the party? Like adrenaline in my heart. They're gonna have a fire breather on the bar later and shoot fireworks above the ward. Would fireworks even burn in a vacuum? It worked at New Year's. Whatever they did, it looked freaking nuclear. Nothing too crazy. I want to be able to walk a straight line. Cassian Temple coming up. Are Asari drinks usually mild? Not all of them. Mr. Khan had us put out some gelatin shots earlier. Also Asari, they kick like a shotgun. for Citadel Council. I'm running for Zakara Ward City Council. Hi, Elspeth Norain. I'm running for Zakara Ward City Council. Are you a citizen here? I've had bad experiences with politicians. Who hasn't? That's why I'm running. I got sick of leaders with ties to terra firma or Cerberus or worse. Oh? The ward needs refugee facilities. It needs security. It needs jobs. It needs everything. And hopefully, with a friend like Elijah Khan backing me, I can make it happen. Upstairs. Whenever you're ready. Evening, officer. Sir. Attention, bets are locked. Attention, all bets are locked. Good luck, ladies and gentlemen. Baron Racing live from the pits of Tuchanka. A blistering start. Back from third. Kruger wins. Come on, Tiger Bite. Bring it home. You got a lot riding on him? He's my boy. Picked him up at his shelter. Whoever let him go had no eye for racers. He can outrun anything he can't outfight, and outfight anything he can't outrun. 
What are the odds on? Enough to pay for my kids' tuition. Upstairs. Wasted I am? Uh, no, ma'am. <laughs> we just call the wheel she. That's sexism. Wait, I mean objectivism. That's sexism for inanimate things. Just waiting. I love roulette. Every minute is more exciting than the next. Should I point out the flaw in that statement? Oh, are you like one of those detail people? Come on, even diamonds have flaws, but that doesn't make them less valuable. Miss, where exactly were you educated? Oh, online. You can take these courses, and it teaches you responsibility because you do the grading. Interesting. You're not mingling and you're not betting. What's your game? The name's Roland Quarm. The game, Commander Shepard, is hearts and minds. Care to elaborate? Most people in this casino are here for a good cause. Others are just here to be seen. Phonies, if you will. They have money they won't miss. Others who are not myself need it, so... The honorable thing to do is part them from this money. So you're a con man? Con men leave their marks angry. Con artists leave them smiling. I see the security gate. Okay, that's great. But we gotta wait on that until I reach the end of the duct. The thing about Solarian parties is, they all do it too well. I don't follow. My lab group on Sirkesh. All Solarians but me, and all with damn near perfect memories. Oh, that could get awkward. Exactly. It was all about who burnt the cake six months ago, or arguments the two people continue when they meet up once a year. So they never let anything go? Yeah, it was constant one-upmanship. I couldn't keep pace with them if I wanted to. Upstairs, whenever you're ready. Why, hello, love. Isn't the turnout amazing? I wasn't sure anyone would show up. We pull together when we have to. I feel so bad for the humans. If you need a place to stay or anything, you just let me know. I have a place to stay now, but thanks. So you had nothing before that? Oh, how brave of you to endure, dear. The humans are so resilient. Like that phrase of theirs, stiff one in the lips? Stiff upper lip. 
Right, of course. What did I say? I heard your advice is so good at psychic. So what's gonna happen to me in the next few minutes? Disappointment. Oh. Hey. Commander Shepard. Shaira. It's been a long time. My idea of a long time is different than yours, Commander. What can I say? I put a lot of living into the last few years. Indeed. Do you have any advice for me this time? When? popular tonight. Well, some adventurous souls are trying to mind fish. It's what Hanar like to do instead of alcohol. Huh. I guess since they're mostly water, the dehydration would be bad. Right. So there's this fish with hallucinogenic skin oil. Gets Hanar buzzed right up. What happens if humans eat it? Way more potent. And it releases into our system slowly. Best to clear your schedule for the entire weekend. Young people party. I drink. Tonight it's ring call on the rocks. That stuff can put you down for the count. I just lost a staggering amount of income. This puts things in perspective. You need a few credits for a ride home or anything? Oh no, it's not like that. You know about all those helium-3 facilities that are getting wiped out? I've flown by a few. Well, to put it in layman's terms, most of those facilities were mine. Just like we thought. There's an alarm on the grate. We'll have to bypass it. Use this. It's a resonance emitter lens. It should let you see security grids and wiring. Good. I'll follow the wiring to a junction box, splice it, and disable the alarm. Yeah. Fingers crossed. The lens is working. Good. Follow the blue wiring. In case it needs to be set, don't try to bypass a camera while you're being watched. I see a junction in the wall, but there's a camera watching it. Shepard, I'm sending a hack to your Omni tool. It will fool the camera, but it'll self delete after a few seconds. Got it. Uh. 
This place is in. Good. I've got the grate open, and... In we go. Act casual. This could take a while. What can I do for you? I'm curious. What's the craziest thing you've ever served up? Well, there's the Barak. That's a Krogan drink you set on fire, put out, then drink from the scalding hot cup. Well, there's the Weeping Heart. That's a martini with Drell skin venom. The venom's pretty mild, though. Oh, wait. A Volus Bina. The alcohol puts you on the floor, and the ammonia lets you clean up the mess you made. If you live. Evening, officer. Sir. Commander. What? There's a guard right below me. Don't panic. I'll get his attention. Excuse me. I think I saw someone doing drugs in the men's room. I see. Were you able to identify the substance used? Red sand. Dispatch, we've got a sand tripper in the bathrooms. Have they tried to compromise the games bionically? Unknown at this time. Moving to confront. Send backup. We're taking care of it, sir. Appreciate the help. You have a good night now. You're clear, Brooks. <sighs> Thanks, Commander. I'll see if I can get to the panic room. And I'll get back to blending in. Slow and steady. We'll get to Khan. So push my tour of the camp from one o'clock to three, move the three to five, and we'll find ten minutes to eat somewhere. So, to sum up, tomorrow starts with the Help a Dream Foundation, then it's Blood Drive, Refugee Camp, and Hospital Tour. Hmm. Sounds like you turned pro. I try. Ms. Rios believes we have an obligation to the less fortunate. Of course. So how are you liking the party so far? There's a party? Talk to me, Brooks. I've got a pressure pad and an obstruction detector ahead. I can't disable them from here. Okay. Edie, I need a tech solution. Brooks, stay put. We'll find some junctions and take down the sensors. Okay. I'm at a junction. There's a camera and a guard. I'll just be here. Try not to cough. Brooks, try it now. Checking the pressure pad. No alarms. Looks good. Follow the red wiring.
There's a junction by the roulette wheels, but it's in plain view of two guards. But you can do something, right? Because my legs are maybe sort of starting to fall asleep a little. I saw Hang a pickpocket working We've the crowd upstairs. Just a second, ma'am. I'll contact you. I'm at the storage room grate. Time to hit the lock. Be careful, Brooks. Brooks? Oh, son of a... Hey, Commander. What? What happened? Infrared laser hooked up to a silent alarm. I didn't get it in time. Shepard, I'll call the responding guard to say it was a false alarm. But you must stall him before he reaches Brooks. Hey! Just calm down. I'm trying to do three different things here. Barrels? Sir, we checked out the alarm in storage. It's nothing. Minor accident. Find out who tripped it and get them in my office by end of shift. Now you. What do you need? I'm sorry, are you with security? I thought you were a friend of mine. You've got the same suit. You... Enjoy your evening. You're clear, Brooks. Thanks, Commander. I'll see if I can get to the panic room. So these hollows aren't just hollows, right? Real Baron are racing somewhere. Oh, yeah. They set up a trap. Our pups eat. They bark. They need cleaning up. What's a pro racer eat? A special diet based on what they get in the wild. Minus the radioactive crap. To what? Raw Krogan leg? Oh man, my dogs would love that. Kind of illegal though. What's your connection to Khan exactly? He's a campaign contributor. Uh huh. You may want to do a background check on him. He's dirty? Like you can't imagine. Oh, not again. I can't believe this. I just got done returning donations from some Terminus pirate woman. Was her name Arya? Yeah, and before that, it was an Asari Spectre Tella something, and before that, there was this Krogan. Do I have a sign on my back saying, exploit me? Well, you don't exactly come across as formidable. But I'm trying to fix it. I practice glares in the mirror every night. Good luck, Ms. Varane. Have you bypassed the camera back there? Well, I got my side. Yours is still on, though. We need to finish this before someone comes by. Hang tight. I'll get to you. Follow the yellow wiring. I can't get the security gate to open from here. The junction must be on your side. It might be tricky, just so you know. Have a little faith. I can distract him. Tell me when. I bring greetings from the consort Chaira. She instructed me to schedule a session with you, free of charge. That's very kind, miss. But we have to clear all our, um, gifts with Manu. Have a good night now. You look hungry. They have that grown swordfish in the restaurant. Shall I save you a bite? I wouldn't turn that down. Hey, who told you I like that fish? You have a good night now. Don, I'm not here to threaten you. We need to talk. What the hell? 
I see this conversation will be strictly one-sided. Commander, there's a deletion order on the terminal. Damn it. Everything's been wiped. I don't know if it was him or the killer or... <gasps> when I tripped that alarm, did I screw this up? What are you looking for? Mistakes. Thought so. Whoever it was had to do this fast. They wiped the terminal, but not the comm. Oh, so we can take the comm back to the safe house to scan it, or... Elijah, come crawling back. Guess again. You. I see you've recovered from flopping on the floor like a fish. You'll need to do better than that. The last guy to trash talk me was a few kilometers taller than you. Brave. I thought as much, but it won't matter. You have nothing. All you can do is wait for the hammer to fall. Why do this? What did I do to you? I'm gonna take everything you have, and everything you are. Damn it! <sighs> Sorry, Commander. There wasn't enough time to trace the call. We're not finished. Pull out the data drives. The ones that got wiped? You think we can find something? With Edie, anything's possible. The sooner we get them to her, the sooner we can track down this threat. Thank you, Shepard. That was fun. Well, not so much for the host. It wasn't a total loss. Brooks, work with Edie to see if there's anything useful on those drives. Here's hoping. I'll let you know what we find, Commander. Thank you.